Hey, enjoy that little bit of ocean right there. You know me, my name's Pat, and we are making RV and beach memories. Uh, and man, be, uh, the ocean is so peaceful. We like to set our chairs, and just as long as the chairs uh, can handle all that water splashing up on us, we love setting them up. Let the water splash on our feet. Hey, I just want to let you know, uh, might take a few days off from uh, posting it for the updates. A lot of our contractors, and I hope you enjoyed your 4th of July and didn't uh, lose a finger with a firecracker. A lot of our contractors are off this week too, so very little progress made on our on our happy little beach home here. Our dream beach house will get back underway probably next week when the electricians are gonna come in. Uh, but enjoy the video. I'll show you the progress that we've made up till now, but just remember, happy 4th of July this past Monday. Uh, and a lot of you probably enjoying a week's vacation after the 4th. Uh, so enjoy, here comes the rest of the video and I'll show you Hey, take a look. Take a look at some of the progress they made in the last day or two. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. We got windows. We got doors. We're wrapped. Oh, now that looks like a house. Tell me. That looks like a beach house. That is beautiful. Let's take a look at some of the progress downstairs. That's since our last update. You can see they got the, I got my shed built. Looks a little bit different with it. The, looks bigger now that it's on the, on the pad. Inside you can see all the plumbing. Water goes up, sewer comes down. This will be the opening for my TV. And uh, I think I had said it was gonna be over here, but no, the hot water heater will sit there. And my HVAC will be on the outside of the house up there. And the plumber's been here, yep, sure enough. Insulated our water lines, got the water lines run. And all of our drainage lines that all, uh, all accumulate right there. Right above us there is, uh, those are the outlets for the, uh, for the main bath that come out. And just all the drainage from inside the house there. Remember I had windows sitting there at one time. Well, you know where the windows are now. There's the side, that's where our, uh, our big screen TV will be. And just some more of the, uh, where the plumber's been. You can see the, they'll get all that insulated and the, and the bottom of the floor will be covered. So it's starting to, oh, it's starting to shape up. Come on, I'll take you back upstairs. Okay, we're going up these construction steps again. I remember I told you, this is just the wood uh, construction steps. This is gonna be, uh, this will all be uh, the Trex composite wood uh, that they're gonna do all the way up the steps. And they'll even do the composite wood on the, uh, uh, the top patio. They just got the uh, plywood planks on the patios now, but all this, uh, all these steps will be eventually they will be the uh, Trex wood. So they'll look a whole lot neater. I'm just I'm just now learning how to navigate these construction steps without whew, dropping a flip flop right through them there. We have all this uh, all this plywood all the way out and the handrails. This will all be the uh, the Trex wood composite decking so that'll be super nice a little closer look at our windows there as we got both pairs the bedroom and the living room window got the door set in it's almost like home come on in the house welcome home pat and glenna here we go windows yeehaw we got windows now she's looking looking like a house from the inside. And with that wrap on the outside, sure does look, uh, starting to look like a beach house. Ooh, what do you think that is? Uh, no fear, just the, <laughs> just a vent hose. Could be, this is the, uh, the main bathroom where our HVAC guy was here today. And we got the HVAC ductwork all up in the attic, all through the roof. Got it plumbed all the way through. And looking into the washroom, washer dryer, there's our dryer vent. And I can just magically walk right through the wall. And you can see in the master bathroom, there will be our vent hose. Of course, now they will—they'll uh, close all that off. Uh, that way, I can't uh, 
the birds and the bees won't be uh, won't be coming in. There, there's a, an AC vent cutting uh, cutting through into the master bedroom, and we got we got hoses. So step one: HVAC, electrical, and the plumber guys will be right behind them. Won't be long. We'll be here. Get some air conditioning run through here. Yeehaw! Yeah, that's right. Right over the main bathroom, there's our return air vent, so that'll be easy to get a filter change on. That'll be right beside the kitchen, right over the door going into the to the main bathroom. And plumbing for our heat pump. The heat pump will be mounted onto the side of the house. And that'll go right up into the uh, right up into the returns. And the HVAC lines that'll run run to each room. There's the uh, the master bedroom. Uh, second bedroom in the back and through the living room and the kitchen. Uh, an update on our bucket garden. Well, you can see that tomato plants uh, I'm as tall as I am. Uh, but what's it doing? Nothing. Still got the one tomato there. It's all by itself. One little teeny. See some cucumbers. We're finally getting to come started out of there. And our Lazarus cucumber plant, it uh, came back to life. She said there's a couple of little teeny ones on there. We end up, uh, we may end up with uh, one tomato and a couple of cucumbers. Let's see. She's dragging her bell pepper over here for me. Yep, there, where's it at? There it is, I had to dig for it there. Got another little teeny one coming out here, so. Man, we've got to start. We're not going to be able to start a produce stand, but we might be able to fix a pretty good salad. So no matter when you're traveling, you can still have a, what we call a bucket garden. Just don't plan on having friends over for salads. It's not going to be a lot to feed them. Hey, another progress report today. The plumber came. Hey, we got water lines, we got drain lines, and hadn't got everything put in, but he got the lines run today. So we can uh, sort of see where the... Uh, well, we knew where everything was going to be yet. But now it just sort of takes shape seeing the water lines put there. Remember I showed you washer dryer. Now the plumber's been here, so he's got everything fixed for our plumbing to run right in through, through the walls. Dryer vent. <sighs> this should look sort of cool though, seeing after you just saw it with just a floor and then the studs come in, it's a petition and off so you can sort of see where the rooms are, are going to go. Thermostat wire. Uh, let's see if I can. Oh, still skinny enough to walk right through the wall, right into the master bedroom. Uh, HVAC in here. And if I can just get you right down to it. Bathroom sink, plumbing, drains. All we just need is some fixtures to roll in. Our bathroom window, exhaust fan that'll be in here for some of those hot steamy showers that uh, Pat likes to take. And there's uh, the perch for the throne. Uh, big shower here. Super good size storage and linen closet here. And plumbing run through for the shower. Let's see if I can get it up enough to suck. Woof, right through another wall. Had a boy. Bedroom closet and the second bedroom. So we've got uh, got everything run in here. So it's starting to shape up a little bit. Yeah, the front side. This is the uh, washroom. And we still got a lot of fittings to go. Got a plumbed in uh, washer dryer will set in here. And all of our plumbing ventilation pipes running right through there. Swing around to the to the uh, to the main bath. And you can see well, we could go ahead and take a bath if we needed to. Yeah, maybe not. And there's the uh, vent for in the shower room. Uh, the kitchen sink plumbing. Another you know what there. And that's some of the uh, piping for the uh, 
HVAC heat pump that'll be out on the side of the house. Still looking at the kitchen, kitchen window, and here's some plumbing for the uh, kitchen sink. A lot of plumbing tubing still laid in the floor, so I guess a, a little bit more to be running through. But, uh, we're making, uh, making progress. Not sure the plumber's completely done. Uh, probably got a few more things he'll need to run. Electrician's on the list. Uh, probably the next three or four days he'll come in and get everything run. We've already marked where we're going to put our outlet boxes and the breaker box. Will, main breaker box will be downstairs in that, uh, I won't say man cave. It's probably going to be a she cave because she's got a lot, a lot of stuff in storage that's going to have to go in that, in that underground shed, under the house shed. But that'll be where the main breaker box will be. So there'll be a, be a lot of electrical wires going down there. After that, we'll do uh, get the insulation come in and the drywall guys and <laughs> time to carry some luggage in. Huh? Getting exciting. A lot of fun here. It's uh, looks cool with the wrap and the windows in it. I mean, it really then it, then it looks like a house and it's. Uh, a lot different from seeing that empty lot. So you got to sort of follow along from the from the tear down to the empty lot, the holes are ground, stilts. We got the cradle put in with the floor the floor joists and the platform, the wall studs. Glad you're with us. And if you haven't subscribed, you know, hit that little subscription right down there. You can join along with our making making RV and beach memories. And uh, we got a few more episodes to go before we actually see the siding go up. I'll even uh, I'll even let you watch us carry the carry the furniture up the steps. That'll be a that'll be a good one on that one. Woo. Hey, we're glad you're with us. Hey, leave me some comments. I've been leaving some awesome comments. I'll answer every one. Uh, click that like button. Or YouTube likes to see it, and I really like to see that you like my videos. And we're like I say, I'm still shooting. I guess I'm going to shoot for 500 because thousands a little way off. I need to get to a thousand. Uh, we're about. Uh, a little ways off from 500, so I'm shooting for 500 to be my next goal. See if we can't snail crawl our way up to there. And like I say, just uh, hang in there. We're uh, we're trying to put them out as quick as we can. Some of the guys will be on vacation for the week of the Fourth of July, so there may not be a lot of may not be a lot of happenings here at the old uh, beach house. But uh, I'll bring uh, I'll bring you an update as soon as we get some action going here. Hey, thanks again. As me and Glenna will always tell you, God bless you.